Hey, I'm Ryan. I'm a Canadian photographer and videographer currently traveling throughout Japan in a camper van documenting my adventures. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I transform my photos in Luminar Neo. The vibe I try to go for in an edit is a vibrant, slightly cinematic look while still remaining pretty natural. So let's dive into the first shot. This photo was taken in Ecuador. I was staying in a lodge beneath the majestic Chimborazo, which reaches a height of 6,268 meters. And while I was out shooting in the morning, the owner of the lodge was walking through the field, which made the shot a bit more interesting. So the raw file is pretty close to reality, but never captures what you feel in that moment. And for me, a big part of the edit is bringing out that emotion. So the first thing I always do is start with Enhance AI. It's like an instant boost, adjusting exposure, contrast, clarity, giving the image a strong foundation. You don't want to be too heavy handed with this because we're going to do a lot more adjustments in the coming moments. Next, I always adjust the composition. There's not much to do here, but I did notice the subject is slightly off center, so I'll crop to fix that. To bring out more texture in the landscape, I'll add a bit of structure AI using object selection masking so as to not affect the sky, which I want to be less textured so it's contrasting the crisp landscape. But as with anything, careful not to be too heavy handed with this, otherwise it can look unnatural. I'm just touching up the mask selection with a brush since the object selection left some gaps. So now just clicking the little eye icon here to see what we've done, you can see that it's only affecting the landscape in the foreground. So now we're going to jump into a bit more of the creative tools to really hammer home that style and that emotion that you're going for. So using Color Harmony, I'll warm up the tones to match the golden morning light and bring up the brilliance since the raw is still quite flat and add a touch of color contrast, which adds contrast in the most saturated parts of the image. All right, I'm just gonna check in, do a little before and after. I think it's important to do that throughout the process, see if there's anything you're missing. And I think that's already looking fantastic. For a dreamy vibe, I'll go over to Glow and in the drop down, I'll switch from Soft Focus which softens the whole image to glow, which only softens the highlights, giving it a cinematic feel that you'd get from a mist filter. Again, going to be subtle with this because we don't want to take too much away from the texture that we just added to the landscape earlier. Just do a little before and after. Yeah, and you can even see a bit of contrast added to the image because of that. Coming back over to some basic adjustments, I'll hop into develop to fix the exposure. It was quite dark in this valley since the sun hadn't come over the mountain yet, so I'll bring up the shadows here and bring down the highlights a little bit in the sky. And bring smart contrast up a touch, which adds contrast where it matters. Finally, I'm going to make some small tweaks in the colors to suit my style and fix the saturation. In the color panel, we're going to go into HSL drop down, and first, I think the orange and yellows in the grass are way too saturated, so I'll bring those down a bit. Now heading into hues, I always make the blues slightly cyan and yellows a tad over to orange, essentially making a subtle teal and orange, which is one of the most commonly used cinematic color palettes. Let's look at the before and after. On the left, we have the original shot, well composed but a bit flat and quite dark in the valley. On the right, after just a few minutes in Luminar Neo, it tells a story. It's cleaner, more vibrant, and much closer to the magic I felt being in that moment. So that's how I edit my travel photos using Luminar Neo. It's only a few tools like Enhance AI, Structure AI, atmosphere and some basic adjustments and suddenly your images go from good memories to something that you'll want to share or print and don't forget to revisit your old travel photos because you'll be surprised at how much new life luminar neo can bring to them if you'd like to learn more editing tips be sure to subscribe to luminar's channel and happy editing everyone